My name is Kevin Korb, and I'm going to give you a very brief tutorial on how to get a solar server up and running. Um, now, solar is an Apache product or project, so we're going to go and search for Apache Solar and go to their homepage. Go to download solar, and now. Version 1.4.1 is the latest, so we're going to go ahead and get the GZ uh, version. Okay. Now, as this is downloading, I'll briefly tell you, you know, probably what you already know. Um, chances are you're using, you know, PHP and MySQL, and you know, you might have a ton of data now that. You know, when you do a full text search in MySQL, it's it's you know becoming noticeably slower um, than it was when you had a smaller data set, or maybe you know you're you've kind of outgrown the feature set of using you know MySQL full text searches, and you want to do, do more advanced things. You want to mo you know um, change around, modify the algorithm for your scoring, or you want to do faceted searching. Or you know any of that. Um, I mean, Solar is built to be a search engine, and that's what it's great at. MySQL is you know a relational database, and it's great at that. Um, so they're two very separate products, but um, you know Solar can can really help and you know use the data that you have in MySQL to create a very quick you know efficient search engine on top of that. So you know here we go, and we have downloaded. Solar. Now, Solar is built in Java. It's written in Java, so you know you do need to have Java on your box. Um, it should be a, a Sun version of Java, and it should be version 1.5 or greater. So, we're going to start with unpacking our Solar. Okay, now in here you will see that we have um, an example directory. We're just going to start with the example directory, and in there is um, start.jar, which is basically um, Solar wrapped up with um, the Jetty servlet engine that's going to be, you know, serving these requests. So. And that is kind of everything ready to go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start that. So to start that, you just do java-jar, start.jar, and then we're going to hit the ampersand, which is going to run it as a background process. Which means that you know after it's started up, it's going to give us back the shell. So as you can see, it has started socket connector at 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. And then port 8983, which means it's binding to all of the addresses on port 8983. So if you, you know, if you deploy this locally, you can just go to localhost colon and then port 8983. Or, you know, if you did it on a remote server, you could use your domain name colon and then the port, assuming that you have the firewall open on 8983. So in here, 404 not found, but there is a link to Solar, and from there is a link to Solar Admin. So here is the Solar Admin console that you will use occasionally to do different debugging and you know maybe just test searches. Um, we're we're going to go ahead and do the search on the default text Solar as the query string, and at this point you get a few different things back. Status zero means that's um that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, queue time is 11, which means it took 11 milliseconds to complete the search. Um, and here's some different parameters you can pass, which are all you know. Basically, as you can see, we pass them in our query string. And here's our response: num found zero. Now we didn't find anything here because uh, our solar index actually doesn't have any data yet. So starting up the you know, the solar server as we did, um, that's fine, but we have no data. So now we have to feed data into it. Um, there's many way, different ways to do it, but um, one way that it ships that's really easy to use is um, 
XML files. So if you look, the iPod other XML file, basically it's you know arranged into add and then doc and then all the field types, right? So it's very simple if you look at the other things. Uh, let's go monitor dot XML. Same thing, doc or add and then doc, and then you have you know these different attributes for the doc. So that's just kind of a standard way of how you can, you know, use XML to import things into Java. And the way you would actually do that is you see the post.jar. Um, if we call that java-jar, post.jar, and then we want to pass in all of the XML files. Okay, so we've posted all those to, um, to Solar. And now it has recreated our index. And now we should be able to go back and query it again on the term solar. And we get results back. So that's it. We have solar up and running. And that's really the end of tutorial one.